The beauty of the movie Black Panther just keeps on growing and growing and growing all the way, all the way to them saving black cats. Now, historically, black cats have been known to you know bring bad luck. You don't want to have one walk in front of you. You won't. You'll have bad credit. Um, all these things, but because <laughs> of the credit. movie Black Panther, more black. Just what like happened? That. The, Darren's I'm laughing at me. What happened? No, I'm not. They're making fun of me because of my laugh. Anyways, <laughs> yes. yes. Well, do you, Jason? The, 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 the black cats are probably laughing at the story too because yeah. because of the movie Black Panther at shelters all across the country, more black cats are being saved. Now, uh, there's a Tumblr post that came out. Let's take a look at it. It says, unexpected benefit of Black Panther. My local pet shelters went from having something like 50 to 60 black cats between them to having none because they've all been adopted out and named after the characters. <laughs> T'Challa is the most popular, but there are a fair number of Okoyes and Shuris as well. And one very confused elderly humane society volunteer wondering oh. if someone would name such a sweet cat, Killmonger. This is not so real. Cool. This is so real, but <laughs> we'll get to it. Thoughts, five words or less. Oh, just little tiny panthers. <laughs> <laughs> Black cats matter. No, 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 don't do that. 101 Dalmatians all over again. Janet Jackson had a song called Black Cat. And it didn't do as much as Black Panther did. For right, that. true story. But you know, she was she was ahead of the, she was ahead of the curve. But I need I want to hear about Brooks five words or less. What do you know about what happened? A bunch after? of people bought Dalmatians after the movie. Wait, 101 Dalmatians? Yeah. Well, yeah. They did? You don't, yes. <laughs> oh, that's like what happened with Finding Nemo, too. A bunch of people, what? Yeah, after it's a, now, now it's all clicking. I Wait, remember I what? read these articles about this. I didn't know that they, because Dalmatians are like really, they can be really uh, inbred. Oh my gosh, if they're not oh my bred correctly, and I'm a I shelter saw a advocate. I a tweet but. the other day. It was uh, uh, Steen on Twitter. She retweeted a tweet from somebody that she was like, oh, that went left. And it was a woman saying that she adopted a Dalmatian after this. And they ended up having to put it down because it was deaf and it just was aggressive and barking all the time. And it had all these problems. And then there were comments like, what? Yikes. You killed the dog because it was deaf? So, yeah, it's and terrible. The lady, was it a lady or a man? I don't, I don't remember. But well, yeah. According it's to um, the national. So I, that makes sense. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm like, no, I didn't have my coffee today. According to the National uh, Kitten Coalition, isn't that cute? Oh national Kitten Coalition. Yeah, yeah, it's you know, so cute. Coalition. How do I be a part of that? Sorry, right. How do I be a part <laughs> of that? I'm terrified of cats. I ha well, we're, we're going to talk about that too. Uh, three to four million cats enter shelters due to overpopulation, and 70% of them are euthanized. So, I mean, real talk on all seriousness, this is fantastic that a movie is doing not only great things for, for, for black people on film, but yeah. for animals too. And uh, full disclosure, my oldest daughter has a black cat named Ink. Cute. So cute. The was cat's it in name, the house the other day? Yeah, Brooke came over for dinner and didn't realize we had a black cat running it around. Was in the house? It probably like licked her toe too. No, but. it was not, I would have had to leave. Yeah, it was in the house. What? Yeah, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> if Brooke, if where else would it have been? Like in her room? It wasn't her room. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. it wasn't her, yeah. because we, we knew people were coming over, but we do have a black cat. But I think this is fantastic. In I mean, his car? <laughs> like, we just, I have a cat, but I just treat it terribly. We like, are out of control today. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Going back to the story. story. Go ahead, Derek. No, if, if you go to shelters, um, like, my family, we love going to shelters. We've adopted my sister's dog from a shelter. If you go there and you go through the cat section, almost all of them are just pure black cats with yellow eyes because they don't get adopted as much. They're they're definitely not as popular. They're not as pretty as the other cats. So it's true. Cats like this tend to get euthanized because they just don't get adopted. They're not as cute. So I think it's great that, I mean, even if it is a fad, hopefully it's not just a fad and people are actually interested in adopting black cats forever. Um, but I think it's great. I mean, yeah. it's it's just a positive, fun, cool thing that the movie's doing that we never thought it would do. So right. yeah. And the great thing about this too is that unlike what we were talking about like with Dalmatians mm -hmm. earlier, black cats, you don't need to breed them. They're just, you're always gonna have black cats. Like yeah, that's right. not, you don't need to be like, this we is don't need specialty. more of them. Yeah. yeah, like there are plenty and plenty of black cats that are in shelters right now at your local shelter looking for a home for it to be a little tiny panther in. And um, I think that this is great. This makes me think of, you know my friend Haley? You do, you yeah. guys don't. But the point is I have a friend Haley and she has two black cats and they, she just loves, she's always loved black cats. So I like to think she's ahead of the curve. And now I wanna know if she brought the cats to the theater to watch Black Panther because I feel like that those cats would really like that representation too. Right, you know? they, well there was, I don't think there was any cats. Don't, please, and don't you dare bring your cat to the <laughs> <a black> cat. <laughs> I was like, don't, don't be that dare. person. You're like, here, furball, oh, like, like Michael I, B. Just, 
Jordan, isn't he cute? Hot. <laughs> Why? Okay, so you have, do you have a thing with cats? I tried bro? to get hypnotized out of like being terrified of cats. When I worked in Lubbock, I there were these stray cats all around, these feral, angry Where were you cats. Living? I was living in Lubbock, Texas. Okay. And I come home from work one day, and there were two cats fighting. I swear I saw hair flying up. They were fighting right in front of my door. I sat in the car for an hour and a half. Like, finish it. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. This is your house right now. <laughs> I will get out with it. I, I was terrified, like, constantly Googling. Yeah. How do you get rid of them? I used to call animal control all the time. And one time they set up a trap, and the cat was in it, and it was the safe trap. Right. It just, it was a cage. Yeah, the cat just didn't want to be in yeah. a cage. A, a safe and trap. And it was like it, it horrifying, the noise, and it was jumping all around. In the I think the problem here is you've experienced the wrong kind of cat. Right. She, yes. has, she has cat PTSD. I've, I've only had cats that literally are just like a ball of <laughs> pudding sure. on no, you that just no. love to just Do you sit. know what the difference is? What? Your dog doesn't scratch you on the face when it gets mad. My I cat, so many I've, friends yeah. in elementary school that come to work with, <laughs> to school with scratches. I just remember it. And it's like, oh, Fluffy got mad. I got him wet a little bit. Like, oh, it's not a big deal. That is not, that is horrifying to me. That's not normal. Well, there are cats like that, but there are cats that literally are just like a ball of fluff that love to sleep. But those like, cats we love have those two, people too. They we just... have two cats that literally don't even use their claws. My mom does. They just love to sleep and just love their humans. I think you've encountered, <laughs> seems like just, the worst I'm... cats on the planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I try to get hypnotized to get this fixed, guys. I feel <laughs> as though <laughs> we need to all reach out be on the lens and give Brooke a serious hug because you just went through it, Brooke. Mm -hmm. For real, you just went through it. I don't know how this story, I'm glad that you guys are adopting black cats. I'm sorry, just please keep them. <laughs> for Brooke. Keep them away you're from never me. coming back over, right, Brooke? Yeah. It's, you're never coming over my house never. again? Never. <laughs> All right. Well, I didn't know that, never. <laughs> well, uh, do you like black cats? They're cute, they're funny. Um, cats don't like me, but I don't know, let us know.